Hello everybody, welcome back to Pages and Pens. My name is Julie and today I am here with an unplugged book box unboxing. Let's jump right into it. This is their new eco-friendly box. This is new packaging, new shape, new logo, not new logo, but just like a new design. I like it a whole lot. I came and I was like, what is this super green? earth friendly box that I just got. I was very surprised. Um, I also have an arc here that I will open while I'm on camera. I did not do unplug book box last month. Um, just with everything going on, I wasn't filming, but I did get it and it was amazing. It was pride month themed. It was phenomenal. There was like a Hamilton rainbow colored soap. There was dry shampoo, which I don't use this super cute tote bag that says, uh, history, huh? Which is from Red, White, and Royal Blue, New York and London. It's very, very cute. I like it a lot. I have it over here. Another great box. Another fantastic one. But um, I'm going to jump into this. I have swapped. I am now getting the adult box. Adult fiction. Uh, and this one is Trust for July. This one also, I will say, they have a horror box coming up soon. Horror. Horror coming out that they apparently are having like the best time putting together. I'm very intrigued by it as like a new thriller horror reader. So I'm probably gonna keep my eye on that one. So if you're interested in horror, you could check out Unplugged. They do have a horror box coming out soon. Until the very end, a eucalyptic sage, citrus and linen lighted up candle, which if I'm not mistaken, comes from the Illuminate Files. Till the very end, right? Doesn't it? Ooh, it's a woodwick and it is masculine it's like cologne but it's very nice i'm not mad at it i will say the last woodwick that i got from them wouldn't burn it caught at first and then no matter how much i dug the wick just burned itself out so i ended up having to throw it away i couldn't burn it at all oh no i was wrong okay this is crescent city inspired yeah light it up makes sense now until the very end co until the very end definitely comes from illuminae the light it up light it up is from crescent city they write i mean of course they are but i did read crescent city and they're not they're not wrong we have a bath bomb i think we got one of these in the last month no we got the soap and the the um dry shampoo but this looks to be a shower mister so these are like the disc ones go in the bottom of your shower and they just like mist up while you're showering this is and it's called the mist I can't read the font on this. It's an exclusive by Natural Pure Honest, and it's the Mist Shower Steamer. That, oh God, janky nails, man. Natural Pure Honest on Etsy. You can go there. Then we have, ooh, we got a big old glass, a, a pint glass, which I have another one from them too, that I really like. Now I've got a duo. This one says, oh, the books we love, they love us back, Jay Kristoff. This is a Nevernight uh, mug. Hold on, let me, <laughs> I'm gonna repurpose their bubble wrap to shove in here so that you can actually read it because otherwise there's nothing behind it. I like the font, I like the design. I will see who that is by. By Azora Arts. They are on Instagram. Very excited about that. And yes, never night. I have a book. I have a bookmark and a card and I have a wooden wall plaque. I'm not gonna look at the bookmark or the letter yet because I think it's gonna spoil the book, but oh my gosh, this is so cute. Hold on, it's gonna make horrible sounds. Give me a second. This says, books are my jam. And this is by at bookish signs. I love this i don't know how but i'm gonna get that back into my background here oh my god it's adorable okay bookish signs and more on etsy so shop bookish signs and more a bookmark this is bookish signs and more bookmark stephen king has a quote speaking personally you can have my gun but you'll take my book when you pry my cold dead fingers off the binding very cute. And then on the other side is another quote. This one says, a short story is a different thing altogether. A short story is like a quick kiss in the dark from a stranger. Again, a Stephen King quote. This is like a soft feel, very pretty bookmark. I'll take it. That works. We have a letter here from the author of our book and then our book, which 
I don't know what it is. It's a surprise. It is a paperback. It's a little thing. But I am excited to be getting the adult box. I think it's going to be a lot more fitting for me lately. Oh, this is legitimately on my wish list. This is The Swap by Robin Harding. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm reading this like immediately. Okay, this is what you think it is. She doesn't fit in and neither does Freya, a beautiful once famous social media influencer who now owns the local pottery studio. After signing up for a class, Lo quickly falls under Freya's spell. Freya, buoyed by Lo's adoration, is compelled to share her darkest secrets. Finally, both feeling a sense of belonging, that is, until Jamie walks through the studio door. Desperate for a baby, she and her husband have moved to the island, hoping that the environment will result in a pregnancy. Freya and Jamie become fast, fast friends and do as do their husbands, leaving Lo alone once again. And then one night, after a boozy dinner party, Freya suggests swapping partners. It should have been a harmless fling, one night of debauchery that they would put behind them, but instead it upends their lives. It provides Lo with a perfect opportunity to unleash her growing resentment. This sounds amazing, but uh, it looks like there would be content warnings for infertility or problems conceiving. I don't know what else this is about, but I have seen this on Instagram and I immediately marked it as like a to be read and threw it on my wish list. I am very excited to have this. I'm reading this soon. So we got our pint glass, our candle, our shower steamer, a bookmark, the wood book uh, sign, books are my jam. I really do like that. So all together, I am very happy. Plus I got a book I really genuinely wanted to read that was on my wish list. I was gonna buy it. I'm so excited. Okay, um, then we have a book here from HarperCollins. And I have a feeling I know what this is, and I'm very excited about it. Do you know what it is? I know what it is! When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This is a book that I have heard a lot about, and I am very, very excited to read. Alyssa Cole is typically a romance writer. This one is a thriller mystery following uh, the gentrification of an area and there's this like walking tour as they go over like the gentrified areas and I believe that neighbors she's known all of her life are disappearing. To preserve the past she channels her frustration into a walking tour called Displaced, a people's history of Brooklyn and finds an unlikely unwanted assistant in one of the new arrivals to the block, her neighbor Theo. But Sydney and Theo deep dive into the history quickly becomes a dizzying descent into paranoia and fear. Their neighbors may not have moved to the suburbs after all, and the efforts to revitalize the community may be more deadly than advertised. When does coincidence become conspiracy? Where do people go when gentrification pushes them out? And can Sydney and Theo trust each other or themselves long enough to find out before they too disappear permanently? I am very into this. I'm going to read this first. This will be my first book by her and then I'll move into some of the romances. But I've just been in such a thriller mood that like this is speaking to me on like a deep level and I cannot wait to read this. Um, literally says a thriller right here. Alyssa Cole is a POC author and I maybe I'll do this while I read Octavia E. Butler's Fledgling. The two of these together. This is like a um vampire novel thriller mystery horror so maybe i'll do like the two of these together and vlog this experience Ooh, i like that idea all right we're gonna do that look stay tuned for a vlog soon on that but another seriously amazing box from unplugged so excited to have this book like genuinely very very stoked the August theme is going to be adventure and for the first time ever they have a little sneak peek on the back and that is that we're getting a full-size book sleeve. It is a large perfect to carry all of your books um, and it is from a book fandom, an epic book fandom, not pictured. Um, it's just a map so I don't know how that would be something that could be featured anyway. Anyway, exclusive book sleeve. I love a book sleeve. I'm very excited about August's box. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I will have an unboxing of that as well. But very big things from Unplugged Book Box. Very stoked for it. You should be too. Check out their August box. I'm sure you can still sign up for it. I will have a link down below. And also maybe keep your eye out for that horror box. I know I will be. I'm going to go and uh, 
probably start one of these. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's Thursday and I just want to relax. I want to go find one of these books to uh, read. Although I am currently in the middle of two others, so I should probably finish those first. But that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please do remember to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, stick around a little bit, check out all my social media links listed down below, and I'll talk to all of you in my next video. Bye guys.